Okay, it's September 6th. I'm pretty excited about this set. We have a spot here that in the last four or five days, a whole bunch of bucks just showed up here. It was an incredible night. I never shot a buck, but I'm telling you, I've never had a night like that bow hunting before. He's a beautiful buck. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. So we're gonna just keep at it and see how this goes. Another crazy close encounter with a beautiful buck. We're gonna regroup and keep at it. Mitchell, look at this buck. <laughs> he's a giant. Oh my God. My name is Mitchell Payment. I started tagging along with my dad to go hunting basically since I learned to walk. I grew up living the outdoor lifestyle, learning from my dad and any hunting video I could get my hands on as a kid. Once I turned 12, the legal age to hunt, we started taking things more serious than ever, working hard and learning through experience to better our odds to fold our tags on the animals we are pursuing. It has helped us grow into who we are now. Welcome to season five of Moment of Truth TV. All my dreams. Smoked them. <laughs> this box is what dreams are made of. Oh yes! I'm under loss for words. <laughs> oh, he's so nice in the turn. He is such an awesome buck. <laughs> that was unbelievable. When it comes to dad and whitetails, he's always had significant success with his rifle in hand managing to harvest bucks over the years that most hunters like myself dream about. Big old ghosts of the bush that are far and few between. As for archery, dad usually gets out a few times each year and has had eventful nights in the tree stand, but however has never had a shooter buck come within range. With myself tagging out on opening day, dad's in the shooter seat to see if he can carry over his big buck luck and get his first archery whitetail. Okay, it's September 6th. I really didn't think I was gonna be bow hunting this early, but Mitch tagged out on opening day with a beautiful velvet buck. So he's going with Kaylin and I'm gonna be self-filming, I guess. So we have a spot here that we had a reveal trail cam set up for since middle of July. And we haven't got any bucks on it, but in the last four or five days, a whole bunch of bucks just showed up here. I'm pretty excited about the sit. There's gonna be some bucks bedded in there. Then there's a trough right between the two fields and they're feeding behind me, I think. So this could happen tonight. So I'm gonna head in there and uh, we'll see what happens happens. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by RV City. Generations of family fun. Old Smokes Coffee. Coffee for the courageous. iHunter app. Know your regs inside and out. Black Widow Deer Lures. Number one whitetail estrus and deer scents. Tacticam. Share your hunt. Sights and Arms. Your firearm specialists. And by Prime Archery, the most accurate bows on the planet. This segment is brought to you by RV City. For all your trailer, trailer repair, and camping needs. Located in Mournville and Nisku, Alberta. Once Dad snuck in, climbed up, and got settled into the stand, with some ugly storm clouds rolling through, bringing a light drizzle. It wasn't long before Dad had his first deer of the night right below him. A nice young buck to kick off the night that looked to be on edge and a little nervous from the strong winds. Moments later, Dad spotted a deer working his way down the draw where he kept getting glimpses of antler. 
when there stepped out a giant velvet buck that we call the split G3 buck, one of the biggest in the area. With excitement through the roof, looking like he might work his way down the draw towards Dad. Unfortunately, he ended up grazing his way back up into the bush. Dad keeping his eyes peeled, he spotted more movement in the bush. It was the split G3's traveling companion, another gorgeous buck coming out to feed. Looking like this buck was going to do the same thing as the other, all of a sudden he had trotted in right into Dad's wheelhouse. Unfortunately, happening so fast, Dad was unable to get the camera on him and get a shot off within time. I thought he went up, but he was coming right at me. Actually, I know he's right here. I tried to get the camera adjusted and he just took off to the right. That was a nice buck. The big one's still in there, so he comes this way. Once again, not long after, another buck made an appearance and started to work his way right in Dad's direction. But unlike the others, this buck was reading the script. Although he was a gorgeous looking buck, the steer just wasn't the age class or size Dad was looking for. He ended up coming right to the base of the tree, munching on green leaves only a few yards away. And when Dad glanced up, there was the giant split G3 buck coming right down the pipe. Now hard horned, having shed his velvet within the last hour, working his way within range, it was starting to look like Dad was about to get an opportunity at his first archery whitetail buck. Jeez, I just got back to the truck. <laughs> it's going through my mind what just happened to me. That, that was an experience, let me tell you. That don't happen every night in the Whitetail Woods. To have those bucks like that, and I, it was just, I felt so good about what was happening. I just, we figured they were in that bush bedded, and then I watched the, the big split G2 buck come out of that tip of that bush, and I thought he was gonna come towards me, and he turned and went back into the bush. So I knew he was in there, so it was kind of, it, the anticipation was really good. And then that other velvet buck come, I saw him doing the exact same thing as the split G2 buck. I actually thought he went up to the right. That's what I thought. I'm like, so I'm looking, I'm trying to look through the trees, and next thing I know, he's right below me because there's a big branch that comes out and it just covers exactly where they were coming. I didn't even really have time to draw back. I was adjusting the camera. I just got him on there and boom, he was gone. And then here he comes, split G2, velvet gone. I couldn't believe it. I was ready. I drew back and I was waiting for him to go broadside. He turned right but did not stop. When I burped him, he ran. I still can't believe we ran. Like, maybe I burped him too loud, I don't know, but I was panicking a bit, so. That's what my night consisted of. It was just absolutely amazing. Hopefully I can come back here in the next little while, probably be back in a week or two, so stay tuned. As September went on, Dad made his way back to the tree stand a couple more times within the following weeks where not only did he see deer, but some familiar bucks up on their feet. Unfortunately, no deer came within range. This led Dad into finishing off September with a sit in one of our stands, where he had a close encounter with a doe and fawn, followed by a beautiful great horned owl. With a great September in the rear view, Dad's excited and hopeful for an even better October. If I'm gonna wear it, it needs to work. It doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter what I hunt. Huntworth works. It doesn't matter if the weather is good or bad. Huntworth works. And if Huntworth works for me, 
It'll work for you and your budget. Any game, any place, any time, Huntworth works. This segment is brought to you by Black Widow Deer Lures and Scents, number one whitetail doe asterisk in deer scents. It's simple, they work. With the month of October arriving and having pictures rolling in from our reveal cellular cameras, after looking through the pics and potential shooters, one spot caught our eye with some great activity and multiple nice bucks in the area. Having set a brand new set of stands there this summer, it's time to head in and see if dad can get an opportunity at a nice whitetail buck. After taking a few practice shots and making sure his prime bow was dialed in, Dad was ready to head to the stand. Okay, 20, 30, 40 is right on, hit the bow's eye, so let's get in there. After getting into the stand and some time passed, a nice buck popped out of the bush, fed for a little and went right back in. A deer that we had on camera and was followed up by a doe. Shortly after, a spike and two does came running out of the bush, playing around in the standing green. They later came right down the pipe, working their way right by us at 20 yards single file. With dark clouds rolling in with dusk, that was as close as we got to a deer that night, with that nice young buck coming out down the bush line and working his way across the field to wrap up the night. About a week later, we were back in the same spot, but this time we were after moose. While on our way out, we spotted a beautiful buck down the bush line, coming out to feed. After sneaking out without spooking the buck, the next chance Dad got, he found himself sneaking down the bush line, getting set up where the buck had previously come out. Once settled in and watching a couple thousand honkers go out to feed, the first deer made an appearance, a young buck working his way out. As the night went on and the geese started to come back to the water, there stepped out the beautiful 10 pointer only 52 yards away. With this absolutely gorgeous buck, not getting any closer than 50 yards and finally stopping at over 50, Dad elected not to release an arrow as he didn't feel comfortable taking the shot and let this buck walk. Getting to watch this mature October buck in all his glory is a sight to be held, and as a whitetail hunter, it's what you live for. Okay, I just got back to the truck. I just, on a whim tonight, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go in there, I'll just sit on the ground. And sure enough, a little buck come out. I didn't see him till he was about 15 yards in the field because of that dip. And then he was out there for about half an hour and all of a sudden he just locked on. Sure enough, it was one of the nice bucks. You know, he was only 52 yards when he first come out. He's, he was walking and I probably could have shot, took the shot, he would have been about 56, 58, but I'm not comfortable with that shot, no way. He's too beautiful of an animal to just take a flyer on. I'd rather see him walk away than an arrow in his butt, hey? So that's, I let him walk. <laughs> he's a beautiful buck, oh my God, he's gorgeous. So it was a cool night and uh, we're gonna just keep at it and see how this goes. Dad and I proceeded to head out to one of our old faithful spots where we usually always have good bucks on camera. But unfortunately, having a few problems with trespassers in the last few weeks, we were a bit skeptical. But with a perfect win for our stands, we stayed hopeful and it was time to head in. After getting settled into the stand, it didn't take long for the first deer to appear. A beautiful doe and fawn coming out to feed. 
After they worked their way across the field, a group of three young bachelor bucks were to follow. They ended up working their way past us at 38 yards, nearing last light, to cap off our night. With one of our spots producing pics of some giant bucks, showing killable patterns, Dad and I are getting ready to go in to see if we can play our cards right and get one down on the ground. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Revolution Armory, Canada's best custom shotguns. G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt. Burris Optics, find what matters. Reveal cellular cameras, always on the hunt. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. And by Score Ammunition, proudly Canadian. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee. Try it yourself and use promo code MOT at oldsmokescoffee.com for 10% off your purchase. It's the dawn of a cold October day here in Alberta, perfect for hunting whitetails, where Dad and myself find ourselves en route for an evening sit in the hot spot. Okay, it's the middle of October and you can see our breath. It's pretty cold. A good cold snap moved in here in the last few days and the deer are actually moving pretty good. We did have some nice bucks roll by the camera there before shooting light ended. We probably would have had an opportunity on them yesterday. So if they do the same thing today, we could have a shot. We're gonna try capitalizing on these bucks. There's a couple of really, really nice ones in here. So it could be a good day. So we'll get in there and see what happens. Before we even got settled into the stand, we already had a buck coming down the pipe and we began to scramble to get ready. Unfortunately, we believe he heard my dad knocking his arrow and trotted off right where he came from. After getting situated in the stand and ready to go, it didn't take long before the deer started to come out of the bush heading towards the nearest grain field. After a few does worked their way past us, we caught a glimpse of antler, and sure enough, it was the young buck from earlier. Once the nice young buck worked his way by us, we heard a twig break, and like clockwork, there was a beast of a buck we call Carnage working his way in our direction, with light fading fast. Dad came to full draw on this giant buck only 20 yards away, but when he put his pins on the buck, it was just too dark to make a good shot, and when he went to let down, the buck caught us and spooked the other way, leaving us in absolute heartbreak. Well, we just got back to the truck and we're heading on home. Figured we'd see one of the nice ones tonight and sure enough, right at last light, he started coming down the pipe and he was grazing along. Dad was saying it was a little too dark in his peep to see and yeah. he probably wouldn't have taken the shot. A deer like that, there is no way you'd want to wound him because he is absolutely gorgeous. One of the most beautiful deer I've seen in a long time with his big, big body. He looked like he was already swelled up and ready for the rut. We're gonna regroup and hopefully get back on another big buck for Dad to arrow. <laughs> Okay, we're back in the spot we were three, we had that encounter three nights ago. There's a lot of bucks in here right now. It's a beautiful night tonight, just calm winds. So we're gonna head in there and let's see what happens. After about two hours in the stand, just enjoying nature, I caught a glimpse of a deer coming. Sure enough, there was two beautiful bucks working their way out of the bedding area. The bucks were sure taking their time covering ground, grazing on mouthfuls of green thistle and also being extremely cautious. What felt like an eternity of these deer covering very little ground, about an hour had passed and the bucks starting to move a bit more, the big six decided to bed down. 
But with another little buck coming through, that didn't last long, and things were about to get intense and extremely exciting. Having a 10 minute standoff with this double throat patch beauty, he finally settled. When I noticed our target buck, the older, more mature deer appeared in the back and started to come down the pipe. Having these two giant bucks right in dad's wheelhouse had our hearts pounding, and all we can hope for now is a shot opportunity. Finally, after what felt like hours, the box worked their way by us broadside and dad was about to get the shot he had waited all season for. After touching the back of lungs and liver, this buck didn't go 60 yards before teetering He's over. Gonna, I think he might go down this way. He just went down, bitch. No. He's down. Get out. He's down right there. <laughs> Was that incredible or what? Oh my god. We were covered up in giant bucks. I stood there for a bitch of 40 minutes. Oh and I was starting to shake. Dad played that out well. He picked the right time to draw. Was able to oh. get the arrow off. It, it crushed him. G5 dead meat. He ran in behind some brush and we watched him go down. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're gonna climb on down and go put our hands on this giant buck. Congrats. Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You buddy. did awesome. That was awesome. So we, 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 right through him. Did that victory crush him or the what? The arrow just whacked him. Jeez, he's right there. No way. Oh oh, look at the blood. Look at this thing. Oh, holy cheap! <laughs> I'm so happy with this buck. Okay guys, here he is. Oh my god, I never thought I'd get a white tail with a with a bow. Because I know how hard it is to do. It is not easy. Wait, Mitch, no, thanks for coming, buddy. No, I'm so glad awesome. you're behind the camera. You know, that was honestly arguably one of the best nights in the tree stand we've ever had for white tails. <laughs> it's awesome. And this guy is definitely the oldest buck we have on trail camera here. And we have some trail cam photos of him last year. And he's just got these long swooping main beams. Congratulations, Dad. That was amazing. Thank you. You uh you put the victory arrow in the front bow to work. I absolutely did. crushed him. I love that bow. I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt as much as we did making it because it was absolutely incredible. A gift from God, really. So thanks for watching. Thanks for and, watching. And uh, hope you tune in to another episode of Moment Truth TV. Mm -hmm.